we just had to increase our weekend wages by $2 an hour overnight. And again, even with that, we can't get people to work. There just aren't enough bodies. So we have done that. We've absorbed that cost when we're already, you know, we really have no margins to speak of. And and yet we've we've put ourselves out there um, and we're not able to, to have people step up because there just aren't the CNAs out there. We're, there's 70 facilities, as you know, roughly 70 in Pinellas County. And um, we're all fighting for the same people. These these CNAs who are healthcare heroes are working multiple jobs. We're all we're all begging them to work and they're just not to be had. We cannot afford to have the funding cut because we can't absorb two dollar and our increases overnight and then not have any revenue coming in to offset that. Um, we are in a predicament like I've never seen in decades and, um, and and we're pleading with you for help. And we know you've been an advocate for us. You've helped us with the PCA program and, um, and also the COVID liability protection, which are so important. And the funding is every bit as important, probably more so just to help us stay afloat and uh, meet the needs of these residents. Well, I, I know you guys are doing great work and I and I know that a lot of what you're doing is a, is a thankless job um, and you're, you're taking care of our most vulnerable population. So we, we certainly appreciate the hard work you're doing. And I, I think you. that that, um, that that program, the PCA program is, is great. I mean, it's such a, it's great all around, you know, it, it's a great training mechanism. It also helps with the crisis that the, that you guys are experiencing. So I was very happy to support that, happy to support the COVID liability stuff. I know I know that's a, a big deal and that, that will take a, a weight off of your shoulders um, in terms of worrying about those cases. Well, first of all, I just wanna thank you guys for what you do every day. Um, day in and day out, you're you're there for the people that you serve. And, you know, there is, you know, it's one of the, the, the true testaments of this state is how we take care of those in, in most need. And you all step up day after day through incredible challenges that you faced over the last year. Um, but I just appreciate what you do. And you guys, you you all keep doing what you do. And I'll, and I'll be there to support you on the back end or the front end, wherever I need to be to help you out. So, I, you know, I just... Thank you, Emmett, for your advocacy and everything you all have done, uh, you know, to try to help, you know, make the lives of your residents better.